today we have got an Adventure Zone special. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off, but I'm sure gonna try. We are here at the trailhead at Hope Lake, just a few hundred yards away from the trailhead proper, just because the parking area is here. And I uh, spent the night in my truck and it was magnificent. Beautiful place, highly recommended, very desolate. It's a little bit south of Telluride. So we're way out there now. And today we are going to head up Hope Lake Trail for just a little bit. And then we're gonna turn right off, follow the creek that the trail crosses and head on up to Poverty Gulch. And this should be a steep off trail climb because I wanna make a direct assault onto Golden Horn and Pilot Knob. And those are beautiful summits. I did do Vermilion Peak a year and a half ago or so and saw those and was incredibly attracted, did some research. Apparently they're some of the best summits around, super classics, rising up uh, about 13.5 ish. It's gonna be an incredible trip, super beautiful, but the approach is very, very steep and up some classic San Juan Talus. Here's hoping we can crank all that out. We're gonna to get to find out as we uh, venture deep into the adventure zone. We'll see you up there. Okay, here's our little trailhead sign. It's got a nice map on it. We are here now, and that is the beginning of the Hope Lake Trail. We are gonna take this for a very short distance and then get right into Poverty Gulch and follow the creek up and then power through a bunch of rough talus. Hopefully we'll find a nice way and then get right up to Golden Horn and then from there do an epic ridge traverse over to Pilot Knob. It's gonna be super cool, really excited. Beautiful area. Okay, hopefully you can see that Hope Lake Trail right behind me. And we are already departing that, heading on up this drainage into Poverty Gulch. Do be suspect to the water. It's got a funky color. I'm pretty sure there is some kind of heavy metal from my old mining activity. So I'm not sure I'd filter that. All right, well, I am super psyched. After getting all caught up in the creek and traversing steep walls through dense brush, I've got onto the climber's left side of this creek, and there's a great trail. Yeah, not quite as much as the adventure zone as I expected, but I gotta say, I'm not totally disappointed. Beautiful, steep, loose trail, but worth every bit. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome cascades all the way down this valley. And then in the distance is our objective, Golden Horn. We are well above tree line now, and it is still great. I believe I'm on a faint trail. But either way, I'm on this embedded talus, so it's really solid and nice. And then as we work higher and have a great view of Pilot Knob, there's a nice grassy bench that we can totally cruise up. Really glad I took a leap of faith on this. Working this gully right along the edge of where the talus meets the tundra has been great footing, really fast, and really avoid abusing the tundra. Here's kind of a look at the whole scene. Pilot knob left, Golden Horde in the center, and then Vermilion Peak on the right. We have made it up to the top of this really steep pitch, and it was much more pleasant than I expected. It had pretty good footing, 
A little bit of loose to your right at the top, but man, compared to San Miguel Peak, it was a lot easier so far. Okay, we have entered a high kind of shelf basin, if you will, and I feel like I can even see a mining road right over there. So I'm gonna cruise up that because it's gonna be so easy. And then back behind there is Vermilion Peak. So really crazy and cool. And uh, it's gonna be tough. Getting up this gully, well, whatever it is, basin is steep and loose looking. Hopefully I can use a little bit of that snow to uh, accelerate on, uh, on some hard surface. Okay, I made my decision. I am going to head basically toward that snow patch you can barely see on this bench, work up the bench, and then I'm gonna battle somewhere in that really red dirt. And if it gets really rough, I might jump onto the rocks if they're more stable. Wow, don't wanna be that rock. I thought I was going to get off easy, and that is not the case. I have crawled up this loose talus, and it's working. I'm making it, but it is tough. Uh, not very far, but boy, the real trick to it is don't ever get very tired. Just stop. Be very meticulous about everything you do, because as soon as you start like doggy paddling, you're just wasting energy like crazy, and you're sliding the whole time. So kind of nuts but wow is it cool here that's for sure so i'm paying the price now but i think it's worth it Whew. i made it on the ridge wow is it tough now i guess i gotta go around the right hand side of pilot knob looks scary okay well i have made the ridge and it's been friendly so far Unfortunately, I doubt it's going to remain that way. Beautiful though, that's for sure. But apparently I need to screw around this side of Pilot Knob. So that's going to be an adventure. Who knows? I've been surprised both ways so far. Just came from there. That's Golden Horn in the background. And around this little point, ran into this snow and thought it was over. But I just climbed up and I'm in this little crevice behind the snow and the rock. Totally crazy. So here I go along this little crevice. And I think I can just slink up and maybe even shortcut right up to the summit on this chossy little thing right here. We'll see. Well, I worked my way up the death dihedral of looseness, and that's kind of just down below my right shoulder there. And it was treacherous, I gotta say. Um, class four, class three probably, but loose. And then there's the pilot knob ridge behind me, the lower portion. And then out here ahead of me, really beautiful US Grant on the right. And then I think that's the summit right there. And I am praying that I can merge with the standard route just over this ridge on the left. So, wish me luck. It's, it's been a big adventure, that's for sure. After popping through kind of a notch just behind this tower in the foreground, I came around this thing and it was a loose traverse. Not falling apart, but with the cliffs below, it definitely made it stressful. And then I kind of came on up here and now I'm going to climb up this dihedral and unless a miracle happens, I'm going to call this the summit for me because this is getting pretty wild. Okay, well I am definitely on a sub-summit here of Pilot Knob and 
It is wild. I had a little bit of class four climbing up the final kind of head wall dihedral thing, and it wasn't bad because it wasn't that loose. So I, I didn't really mind at all. Oh man, it is incredibly beautiful up here. I am honestly not sure what I'm gonna do next. Do I wanna go for it or not? I'll have to go back around. I'm kind of concerned about getting blocked by snow just trying to traverse the base of the towers. You know, I narrowly escaped it once already. You know, cause there is the summit right there. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I guess for starters, I need to get up here safely. So, but boy, as you can see, there's a lot more snow than anticipated. And I'd still really like to get up onto uh, Golden Horn today. So. A lot to think about. I'm not sure what I'll do next. Little update, I am back at the saddle between Golden Horn, Pilot Knob, and I did have a little incident, and I'm kind of freaked out. I, uh, during that traverse where the snow was against the cliffs, at some point, I must have barely touched something. It definitely wasn't something I was pulling on, because I would have been aware of the rock getting pulled down, but a rock fell not very far, probably a foot. I mean, it was, you know, it had to be right in my little sphere of influence, and bumped me in the head. And I thought nothing of it. I, ow, bumped my head, just kept going. Didn't think anything of it. And then uh, probably 20 steps later, almost out of the snow, and there was blood just streaming out from under my hat. And it totally freaked me out. It was affecting my visibility, literally, because it was on my glasses. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of chilling out here, trying to self-assess, figure out what the best thing to do is. Uh, totally clean myself up. Kind of work my way back up to the saddle, much closer to Golden Horn, and wow, pretty intimidating looking. Really neat look back. I am just cruising around the west side here of Golden Horn, and it's been really friendly. Uh, definitely see some deep footprints, not particularly a trail, but uh, I'm liking it. So obviously I did decide to continue on and maybe that was a little irresponsible, but I feel fine. Sweet, about at the corner now. Up we go. So beautiful and friendly. There's the Wilson group and that crazy horn. I really have to be here and I'm gonna apologize to my wife and my family right now for continuing on. I did make every link to try to make sure I was gonna be just fine and I feel great. I actually feel better here, it's just strange. But uh, boy, this is incredible. Blue Lake back there, all kinds of cool spires everywhere. Man, I, I'm really glad I continued on. And again, that might not have been the smartest move, but feel fantastic so strange super strange wow really a great place so this one is incredible bang for the buck uh an easy walk up a couple loose little gullies at the very top really nothing to be too concerned with right there was it uh, not a big deal and then you just you know came around this side from the saddle over there and it was fun and easy wow vermilion Miguel, the Wilson Group, Trout Lake down low, and my nemesis, which I will be returning for, Pilot Knob. Coming up here really isn't about hitting high points. It's about experiencing the beauty of this planet and the beauty of our lives. And that's, I hope, what most people's reason is. So, anyway, I'm heading down, and it was incredible.
this is what it looks like looking down. I'm going for the finer, like sandy stuff because it slides really predictably. I think I am done with the towels. And it was fast and nice, but a little sketchy. But that said, being in the San Juans, I think I am going to invest in gaiters as well as a helmet. A nice helmet. God, it even gashed my shoes. I wonder if that'll just kill the gaiters. Well, we'll see, but wonderful place. Pretty darn dangerous. And that rock that hit me, I, I didn't really pull on anything. I, I, I obviously knocked it loose somehow, but I'm used to pushing away rocks that I pull off. There was nothing I felt like I pulled off. So that's the first time I've gotten that bloody ever. So a little scary, but uh, after a long self-assessment, food, water, I did realize I was in totally good shape. There was no bleeding, so incredible trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful place. Uh, sorry I couldn't actually show you the proper route of Pilot Knob. Um, that is going to be on the opposite side where I was trying to traverse to, but between the snow, the falling rocks, and me being an idiot, that didn't work out. Uh, I thought it was pretty incredible anyway, though. Uh, hopefully you did too. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. I'll hook you up with some action adventure straight from the Adventure Zone. Okay, so this is what happened to me. This is the side where I didn't get hit, and I didn't think I needed to clean it up. This is where I got hit right up in here. And I did all kinds of stuff to mitigate the situation, and it actually worked out great. It, it doesn't barely even hurt right now. As a matter of fact, it doesn't hurt right now. But I am gonna make a separate video on this about what I did and why things turned out so well. The first big reason is this wasn't really a very bad injury, just a lot of blood. And uh, that could have turned out bad. So anyway, I'm gonna make a separate video. Did kind of want to show you though, you know, and I used this buff to uh, put pressure on the injury and among other things. So I'll do that. I don't really want to glamorize this, but I think it might end up really helping someone if they come prepared like I was and do the right thing. Okay, so safely back in the truck, totally chilling. I think this route was awesome. There was one horrible, 400 yard stretch of incredibly steep crawling and groveling with an occasional starfish ascent right up to the top of the ridge. This trail kind of hidden off of Hope Lake Trail is a left hand turn the moment you see the creek crossing. You'll just turn left and stay left and you'll keep going right along the creek roughly and go way up there. And it was beautiful. There was that one horrible spot but it would be great access, if you don't mind a horrible spot, to get to Golden Horn would be the one. Pilot Knob, I'm gonna say not really great to get to. You saw what happened to me when I tried. Um, that is better access from actually Ophir and uh, Waterfall Canyon, I believe it's called, or Ice Lakes Basin. I, I kind of avoid Ice Lakes Basin because I'm afraid of massive crowds. But that was a great hike, pretty darn steep. I'd still say be ready for class three and some exposure, even just on that really steep talus. It was steep. So, uh, but man, both summits were incredible and it's just unfortunate I had a little mishap, but uh, I handled it really well. Gonna make that separate video and uh, show you what I carry for first aid and how I responded to that situation as far as a basically self-rescue. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the trip. It was great for me. You know, despite it all, it doesn't really hurt at all now, and I feel awesome. So please like and subscribe, share. And if you're interested in how I took care of myself out there, I will be just doing a short little informational video of what I did.